At first glance, it's easy to spot the difference between these two ships. This one is long and thin with lovely fine lines and generally just looks like a good looking vessel. This one, on the other hand, is much chunkier and less elegant looking. In crude terms, it's fatter, which means it also suffers from a phenomenon that I like to call the fat ship wobble. You can put the rudder over to start a turn, then return it to midships. The ship will then start to turn faster and faster. Its rate of turn increases until you apply counter helm. If you don't get that counter helm quite right and you keep the rudder in the middle a little too long, it will then start turning in the opposite direction. A fat ship literally wobbles around from side to side, needing continuous corrections from the rudder to keep it straight. A long thin ship, on the other hand, is hard to get turning and quite quick to steady up when you return the rudder to midships. We call this directional stability, with a fat ship having less directional stability than a thin ship. More precisely, this element of directional stability is related to the ratio between a vessel's length and its beam, and it's called, appropriately, the length to beam or LB ratio. 